Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time with a little theory. This time we're going to talk about a shift register. Okay. The shift register can be used to extend our digital outputs. How I'm going to explain. Inside your Arduino kit you should have two ICs, two so-called integrated circuits. Yeah? These are these things here. Yeah? This is one and this is the second one. Both come with a dual line input, yeah? dual casing, dual lines. And you need to take care that you take the right one, because right now we are discussing the, yes, the 74HC595. Yeah? This is this device. Yeah? Actually, in there, there are tiny, 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 it's a tiny circuit uh, made of semiconductor uh, with a special technology. And this thing really does a lot. Yeah? You need to take care about this notch here. Yeah? And you have two rows of connectors yeah? and they are numbered, starting if you have the notch to your left side, starting at the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah? So counterclockwise, starting left. Yeah? Some ICs even have here a little dot. Yeah? This one, is this also? No. Yeah? So it has just this notch. So, what does this thing do? This thing is extending our uh, digital outputs. So we do have we do have here several digital outputs, more digital outputs, eight more. Okay. So these digital outputs they are located here. On pin number 15, this is the first output. Yeah? I call it Q0. Okay? Then there is a Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, and Q7. Yeah? This QX here, yeah? this is digital out. Here we have zero or five volts. Yeah? For this little device, to produce the five volts, we need to give it to it. Yeah? So there is VCC, yeah? power supply. This VCC is power supply. And in our case, that's plus five volt. Okay. Put this here. And of course, if there is somewhere plus, there must be minus two. And we have here ground. Yeah. Here we have the ground. So now it's power supplied. And now we just have to select outputs. Yeah? But how do we get outputs there? Okay, How do we do this? The other connectors are then there. Yeah? So. There is one connector called DS. Yeah. DS. DS, that's data serial. Okay, serial data. So here I feed in the data. Yeah. Then I need, you know, if I want to put in as one, I put here five volts, yeah? and then I need to trigger this. Yeah? To trigger this, I always have to look in the data sheet as well. To trigger this, we can use here this, this part. Yeah? This is pin number 11. Yeah? This is pin number 11. It's called shift CP. Uh, every time we have here shift CP, uh, that's the so-called clock. Uh, every time we have here a rising edge, uh, 
the data serial will be taken into a so-called register. Yeah? So in here we have a register. Considering of 8 bits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. Every time we have here a rising edge, the data will be shifted in here. Yeah. And whatever data is inside there, it will be shifted further. Okay. So the new data, the new data at the rising edge, will shift all existing data one bit further. Okay? And then there is one dropping out, and this one which is dropping out will appear here. Yeah? So this, this is called Q7. Yeah? So the one which was shifted out will appear here, and if it's then shifted once again, it will disappear here. Yeah? Then the next one. Always the one which is currently shifted out will appear here. Yeah? The old Q7 this is. Huh? Good. This is the shift register. Okay. <clears throat> then we do also have here uh, on pin number 12. Yeah, this is called STCP, and this STCP, this is called latch. Okay. This is enabling. This is enabling this. Yeah, when every time zero enable shift in. If it's five. It doesn't really matter what is happening here. Yeah? If it's zero, we can shift it in. Okay. Why do we do this? Yeah? Because there is not only one memory inside one of these latches, there's also a second one inside here. And every time this is changing, to, to one again, the content of this will be shifted downwards here. Yeah? And then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, the content of this, this is now connected to the output pins. Okay? So here we are connected to the output pins. Only after this is changing to uh, 1 again, this will be copied, and then we see it at the output. Yeah? From this shift operation in between, at the outputs, we are not really seeing anything. Okay? So, there are only two more connectors left. Yeah? There, this is this master reset here. This is the so-called master reset. And this is inverted. Master reset. If I put down here uh, uh, low, yeah, this everything will be erased in there. Yeah, this is the master reset. Low reset. So we put it to five volt. Okay. We connect this to plus five volt, then the master reset is disabled. Yeah? And there is also here the output enable, OE. Yeah? Output enable. This is enabling the, the voltage on the outputs. Yeah? And we put it to zero volts yeah, or ground, then Outputs are on. Okay. So this is the function of this. And this is why it's called a shift register, because we can shift data in. Yeah? I show you how this is working. Yeah? I will connect Q0 to Q7. 
7, I will connect to LEDs. I will connect VCC to plus 5 volt. I will connect ground to ground, of course. I will connect data serial. I will connect to a button with pull down. I will connect the clock to a button with pull down. So every time I release the button, a new data will be taken from, from this data input and the data input I can select if it's one, if I press the button or release if, it's, if I'm not pressing the button. And I will use this enable, I will use a button and this time I will use a pull up. Because if I don't press the button, I have one and this is the latch is not open. If I press the button, I open the latch. Yeah, then I can put in, shift in data with my other two buttons. Yeah, and uh, if I release this button with pull up, this new data shall appear at the output. Yeah. This is the plan. Yeah. How good this is working, we will see. Yeah. I will make this connections yeah, and then I show you. So now I built it. It was quite taking a while yeah, because here you see what I've done. Here are my outputs. Yeah, here are my uh, LEDs. Yeah, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we should shift the data in from, from this side to this side. Yeah. Here is my my IC, I connected like I was discussing before, yeah, ground and power supply, those, those white cables are the data outputs, and here I have my button. Here, this one, this black cable to this button, this is opening the latch. Yeah? So if I press this button, I am ready to receive data. This one with the yellow cable, this is with the pull down. Uh, resistor. Here we have the data. Yeah? So I, I can select if I don't press a button, it's zero. If I press a button, it's one. And this here is the clock. Every time I release this button, data will be taken from this input. Yeah? So I show you. I now, I now press this button here. I open the input. Then I press this button and now I put it one in. You see, I've shifted in now one bit and it is appearing. I press the button, I shift in now a zero. I shifted this in, this traveled further. Okay, I shift in another zero. Every time I shift in a new bit, yeah, this is traveling further. And I can select now any output by shifting the data in. So if I'm doing another one, you see, it shifted in one after the other. If I'm shifting two zeros in, it's traveling two. Okay. So here I can select how many bits I want to shift in and every time Shift register. This is how this is working. Yeah. You see, it's an awful lot of work, right? Opening and, and shifting in and then releasing and so on. This must take some time. And next time, next video, we will hear how we can program this with our Arduino. Then we are not connecting this opening the channel, shifting in and data to buttons, we are connecting it to the Arduino, and the Arduino shall shift it in. Hey, why not? Yeah. How this is working, 
and how fast this is working, we will see in next video when we are programming this logic on our Arduino. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.